The spaces of the cities we live in are no longer confined by the physical boundaries of their surroundings. Since the invention of cinema, the movie camera has been able to construct representations of the cityscape that serve not only as a backdrop, but as an active player in the film's structure and development. This research examines the representations of New York Central Park in several movies and argues for its fundamental role in the narrative of these films. The park, which is the most filmed location in the world, plays a key role in structuring the cinematic space of many important plot points in films, including Portrait of Jenny, Wall Street, Marathon Man, and John Wick. And the question arises, why are filmmakers interested in using Central Park as a setting for these films? To answer this question, Let's look at the park itself, which was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, the father of American landscape architecture. Influenced by the works of English gardeners and writers, he studied and designed landscapes with visual succession and non-geometric segmentations that encouraged movement and fluidity and had a picturesque quality about them. So the language of looking at the landscape is already embedded in the park. The development of this visual literacy can be traced not only in landscape, but in cultural artifacts like architecture and cinema. Therefore, I argue that Central Park spatially structures the cinematic form of movies through utilizing its masterful landscape design. To study this aspect of the park, this research uses an analysis of movies based off of both theories that analyze filmic form and cinematic techniques and devices. These include film's structure and narrative, as well as composition, camera movements, lighting, scene blocking, and mise-en-scene. In the bigger light, this research examines Central Park's filmic landscape and how, as a central void, it offers structural potentialities to directors and functions as a collective civic gaze.